In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise, and with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The word of the Lord is found recorded in the book of the prophet Isaiah, the 62nd chapter, beginning at the 10th verse. Go through, go through the gates, prepare the way for the people. Build up, build up the highway, clear it of stones, lift up a signal over the peoples. Behold, the Lord has proclaimed to the end of the earth, Say to the daughter of Zion, Behold, your salvation comes. Behold, his reward is with him, and his recompense before him. And they shall be called holy people, the redeemed of God, of the Lord. And you shall be called sought out, a city not forsaken. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 98 O oh, sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have worked salvation for him. The Lord has made known his salvation. He has revealed his righteousness to the, in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his steadfast love and faithfulness to the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Make a joyful noise to the Lord all the earth. Break forth in joyous song and sing praises. Sing praises to the Lord with the lyre, with the lyre and the sound of melody, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Make a joyful noise before the King, the Lord. Let the sea roar and all that fills it, the world and those who dwell in it. Let the rivers clap their hands, let the hills sing for joy together before the Lord, for he comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with equity. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Here the word of the Lord is found recorded in St. Paul's letter to St. Titus, the third chapter, beginning at the fourth verse. When the goodness and loving kindness of God our Savior appeared, he saved us, not because of works done by us in righteousness, but according to his own mercy, by the washing of regeneration and renewal of the Holy Spirit, whom he poured out on us richly, through Jesus Christ our Savior, so that being justified by his grace we might become heirs according to the hope of eternal life. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel is found recorded in the Gospel of St. Luke, the second chapter, beginning at the fifteenth verse. When the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they made known the saying that had been told them concerning this child. And all who heard it wondered at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured up all these things pondering them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told them. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A devotion from the writings of Martin Luther for December 25th, based on the text Luke chapter 2, verse 11, which reads, Unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior which is Christ the Lord. Faith comes first, and it is proper that we recognize it as the most important in every word of God. 
The right and gracious faith which God demands is that you firmly believe that Christ is born for you and that his birth took place for your welfare. The gospel teaches that Christ was born and that he did and suffered everything in our behalf. It is not simply said Christ is born, but to you he is born. The right ground of salvation, which unites Christ and the believing heart, is that they have all things in common. But what have they? Christ has a pure, innocent, and holy birth. Man has an unclean, sinful, and condemned birth. David says, Behold, I was shapen in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Nothing can help this unholy birth except the pure birth of Christ. But Christ's birth cannot be distributed in a material sense, neither would that avail anything. It is imparted spiritually through the word. It is given to all who firmly believe, so that no harm will come to them because of their impure birth. In this way, we are cleansed from the miserable birth we have from Adam. For this purpose, Christ willed to be born, that though through him we might be born again. Christ takes our birth from us and absorbs it in his birth and grants us his, that in it we might become pure and holy, so that every Christian may rejoice and glory in Christ's birth. Whoever does not believe this or doubts is no Christian. Oh, this is the great joy of which the angel speaks. This is the comfort and exceeding goodness of God, that if a man believes this, he can boast of the treasure that Mary is his rightful mother, Christ his brother, and God his father. But this cannot occur except through the faith that teaches us rightly to understand the gospel and properly to lay hold of it. This is the only way that Christ can be rightly known so that the conscience is satisfied and made to rejoice. Out of this grow love and praise to God, who in Christ has bestowed upon us such unspeakable gifts. This gives courage to suffer everything that is well-pleasing to God. We confess together our common and saving faith with the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Most merciful God, you gave your eternal word to become incarnate of the pure virgin. Grant your people grace to put away fleshly lusts, that they may be ready for your visitation. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, merciful Father, who created and completed all things, on this day when the work of our calling begins anew, we implore you to create its beginning, direct its continuance, and bless its end. 
that our doings may be preserved from sin, our life sanctified, and our work this day be well-pleasing to you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings and life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.